quick video. Bloody quick Mary, video, Bloody man. Mary. Bro, what, what the hell is wrong with me? What the hell is... No, nobody cares about God. God's a hoe. Oh, nah, bro. Nah, yo. Break the glass, pussy. You will not do it. You know what? Let me put this down. Let me put... <laughs> okay. So what you're seeing there was a, a clip of this, you know, this... God's uh, a hoe. And he's, you know, he's showing you here. This is actually from the, you know, was, was taken from the brother Zion. Yeah, Tazakak. So like you were thought pronounced your name wrong. Beautiful, beautiful brother, though. But, um, hey, man, this right here is a clip from, um, that, that, that he um, previewed. And what this man is showing you is how the battle against the flesh and the spirit, man. You know, because we have this happen to us all the time where, you know, the, the devil will go into your mind and cause you to think some stupid, crazy, wicked ass shit, you know. And um, ultimately, um, what that does is it, um, you know, it, 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 amen, what it can do is it can throw you off even if you've got a strong mind. That's why we have to relearn to rebuke those demons, man. You know, as those demons come to your mind telling you and, and, and they, you know, they don't say those things like, like they were saying to him. That's just an example. But they may come to us, you know, speaking and saying, oh, yeah, you're not a man of the Lord. You're not going to be the elect. You're not worthy. You're wicked. You sin. Remember this sin. Remember that sin. Remember you did this. Remember you did that. The Lord's not going to forgive you, you know, and I, and I, and I want to do this video to touch on that point and to let you know that really, you know, these are just demons plaguing our minds, you know, that's the wiles of the devil trying to, you know, throw us off, you know, that's why the scripture talk about putting on the whole armor, you know, girding up your mind, girding up your spirits to, you know, continue to fight in this battle, man, because really none of us are saved yet, you know, the scripture says, he that endure until the end shall be saved, and in that, you're going to have to go through things on the outside, so dealing with, you know, these um prophecies coming to pass as we see them you know death and destruction on the rise but also things on the inside which is what these spirits trying to attack us and trying to throw us off man okay ephesians chapter 4 verse i mean slash ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 finally my brethren be strong in the lord and in the power of his might put on the whole armor of yahweh shai that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So this ain't just about, you know, going out to camp for a week, doing, doing a video. No, this is about getting your mind, your whole spirit, and your, and your whole being engulfed, okay, um, you know, completely submerged in the Holy Spirit, man. So as these devils try to come up and tempt you, like, you know, Satan tried to do Yahweh Shai, who you're going to call Jesus, on the, um, in, in the um, desert when he was fasting. You know, you have to learn to rebuke these demons, you know, and, and refer back to the, to, to, to the scriptures. How can you do that if you ain't studying the scriptures, man? Okay. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, and against powers, against rulers of darkness, of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness and high places. So this is a spiritual fight battle. This is a spiritual fight, man. Okay, and what happens is when you get those negative thoughts in your mind of, oh, you know, I'm ugly, I'm not worthy, I'm not, I'm, I'm not this, I'm not that, whatever it may be, those are demons plaguing your mind, and you have to rebuke those demons immediately. Okay, scripture talk about blessed is he that is not condemned in his conscience. Okay, um, let me grab that real quick. See, because that's what Satan's trying to do, he's trying to throw you off, okay, and um, get you to, you know, go off pretty much, you see. Ephes, I mean, Ecclesiasticus chapter 14, verse 1, because certain people, they, they will hear these, you know, these thoughts in their mind, they'll think that it's them, and they'll start saying these things, you know, or, or agreeing with them, or think that it's just the way it's supposed to be, not realizing in their own ignorance that that's a demon that has just deceived you. It says, blessed is, it, is the man that is not slipped with his mouth, and is not pricked with a multitude of sins, because we all have sins, man, now, none of us is perfect. Scripture says, if a man think that he sin not, he deceiveth himself. Okay? You lie to yourself, man. Our righteousness is as filthy rags. So in that, these demons, they know that. And they know that we know that. And what they'll do is they'll try to get you to, you know, g g give you that blood guilty spirit, you know, to make you, um, you know, come, come pr you know, pretty much ca ca um, they try to ca catch, get, you, get you to cast yourself off, man. You know? Put, put that pressure on you to say, oh, you know what? I ain't worthy. I ain't worth it. Lord ain't gonna save me, and then you're gonna end up condemning your own self just by giving in. Blessed is he whose conscience have not condemned him, meaning what your mind, because it was in your mind. These devils, man. Okay, these demons are in our minds, you know, trying to plague our thoughts. And who has not fallen from his hope in the Lord. And that's our hope, man. We are, hey, that's the always say the hopeful elect. 
we're hoping that the Lord has mercy upon us, man. We're, we are hoping that the Lord, you know, shows compassion and favor towards us. Okay. I put a scripture here. It says, laugh my fucking ass off. Calm. That's them demons trying to fuck with your mind and um, the, the flesh versus the spirit. Okay. It says, um, it says, uh, Jeremiah chapter 17, verse nine, the heart slash mind is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? There you go. So, hey, amen. Our own minds is the you know, is wicked, man. You know, our own worst enemy is ourselves. You know, this flesh, man. We in these chains of darkness. So a thought may come to your mind, some wicked, perverse shit. And you're like, what the fuck? Where the hell that came from? That was a demon, man. Okay? That was a demon. And this is why you have to, you know, be on point. Okay? You have to be in the spirit. Constantly ready. Um... You know, you know, to, to 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 be be aware of these um these these spiritual attacks, man. Okay, because the spiritual attacks are coming. Okay, the spiritual attack, and you got you got spirits in a lot of the different places, man. You know, you got spirits like like even Yahweh Shai talks about how 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 when they was on the ship, and 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 the waves and the weather started to get crazy, he 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 rebuked the winds, man. Okay, and he caused the weather the, the uh, weather to uh, stop, man. Okay, so the, the, what that shows you, these are all just spirits, man. Uh, okay? These are all just spirits, and you have to learn to rebuke them. Okay? Um, and, um, you know, just, you know, be, be, be prepared for that, man. Scripture says, if you come to serve the Lord, prepare your mind for temptation. You're going to be tempted. The, the devil's going to be trying to throw you off and, you know, um, you know, get you to go off. Okay? This is um uh, just a, uh, an account Matthew chapter seventeen, verse fifteen. It says, "Lord, have mercy upon my son, for he is a lunatic and sore vexed, and often the far and oft times he falleth into the fire and oft into the water." So really, this man is saying that his son has a sickness, okay, where he's um, you know, pretty much a lunatic sickness, and all that is is a demon, man. You know, you have people with different ailments and different, you know, um, situations going on in their body. Those are demons plaguing your body. Okay? Scripture says that we suffer because of our sins. So because of our sins, the Lord has to punish us in certain ways. But in that punishment, you can get mercy by seeking the Heavenly Father, man. Okay? And I brought him to thy disciples, and they could not cure him. Because we're coming into a time where, hey, the men of the Lord are going to get spiritual power. And we're, and we're going to be able to cure and heal people hey, through the Holy Spirit, man. You see? And this is an example of Yahweh showing us this. He says, the works that I do, ye shall do in greater. Okay, so not only the demons that that, 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 that are in our minds, you're going to be able to cast those demons off like Yahweh did in the wilderness where he cast it off Satan through the scriptures. We're going to be able to cast those demons off, but also on other people, man. These people are, are plagued with demons right now, you know. A lot of our own people are plagued with demons right now. And you're going to be able to cast those demons off of them, Okay. It says, um, then Yahweh shall answer and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And Yahweh shall rebuke the devil. You see? Yahweh shall rebuke the devil. That's the point I wanted to touch on is how he rebuked the devil, man. And then what happened? And he departed out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. You see? So, hey, man, he had to rebuke that devil. Okay, and that and, and that child came out of him. Okay, I mean that that that, that um and that child what well, what well, well, was cured. Okay, then came the disciples unto Yahweh Shai and said, Why could we not cast him out? And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as the grain of a mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall re it shall remove. And, neither, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Howbeit this kind goeth not out by prayer and fasting. So there you go, man. You know, if you have belief, if you really truly believe in the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, you know, you're going to you know, be able to cast these spirits out, cast these demons out in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay? And in doing that, you know, it's going to... You know, you you gonna have you gonna have you gonna have power, man. That's gonna you gonna you you gonna you're not gonna be able to be to fall subject unto these spirits, man. You know, trying to plague your mind, trying to throw you off. 
Okay, because that is a part of this battle, man. Okay, that's a part of this battle, man. And you don't want to, you know, get lost in that. Okay, or get, you know, sidetracked. Just lock it. Let me grab this. Um. Um, Ecclesiastes chapter 2 verse 1 My son if thou come to serve the Lord Prepare thy soul for temptation You know Prepare your soul for temptation man Okay be, be, be prepared to have to you know go through some things Or see some things You know hear some things And in that stay strong man Don't get weak you know don't give in Don't lose sight of the gold man You know Um Let me grab this real quick. This is the, um, the book of Luke, chapter 22, verse 31. And that's pretty much the point. You know, I just want to touch on that, how it don't, 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 don't be, you know, discombobulated when you have these things happen to you or these thoughts come into your mind. Those are demons plaguing your mind. You know, you got to cast them off. Okay? Cast them off. Continue to pray. Continue to fast. Continue to stay in the spirit. Okay, Luke, chapter 22, verse 31. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you. Satan has trying to cast all of us. He's trying to throw all of us off, man. That he may sift you as wheat. Satan is trying to sift us out of this faith, sift us out of this truth. So what is he going to do? He's going to put thoughts in your mind. Okay, he's, he's going to put may, may make situations arise where you know you might you know not want to deal with it, and you got to deal with it. Okay. How wish I speaking to Peter? He says, "But I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. When thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren." So in understanding this, you know, as you understand it, as you as you begin to, you know, come into that conclusion in your in your mind and your thoughts, strengthen your brethren, man. Help other brothers understand it, you know. And just beware, man. Beware because Satan will walk with about like a roaring lion, seeking who can seek who he may devour, you know. And that's really talking about the physical, you know, Satan, but also to the spiritual Satan, man. You know, seeking whom he can deceive and who he can throw off, who he can get, you know, get off that path. Beware, man. Okay, beware. So with that being said, I'm gonna say Shalom, call Allah, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakodash, Brakatha, Brakatham to all you brothers and sisters scattered abroad and studying this truth and truth and sincerity, seeking coming back to the most all high, uh, Father and Son. I'm gonna bring this video back and show you, you know, just the contents of you know how outlandish these thoughts that come to your mind and um you, what to do. Oh, bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Bro, what what the hell is wrong with me? What the hell is... No, nobody cares about God. God's a hoe. Oh, nah, bro. Nah, yo. Break the glass, pussy. You will not do it. You know what? Let me put this down. Let me put... Nah, yo. And that's the... And that, you know, that's the point, you know, about that, um... About what he said about God. You see? So, with that being said, I'm gonna say call law. You know, how about you? You know, how about you? I should praise. That's what's edifying to the whole four elect. Scattered abroad. With that being said, I'm gonna say Shalom.